Okay. Uh, good day, class. So for today, we are going to discuss your laboratory exercise 6, 7, and 8. So ako na lang siya giusa o discuss since interrelated man lang siya and then um, belong lang siya sa housekeeping department. Okay, so let us first discuss the cleaning agents in housekeeping. So this is our learning outcomes for today's discussion. So first, you're going to identify the tools and equipment used in housekeeping department. Second, perform the procedures in entertaining guest room. Third, perform the room cleaning procedures. Okay, so we have already discussed the different equipment, tools, and chemicals used in the housekeeping department. Okay, so we discussed it in the lecture, so let us just go through with the presentation. So these are the advantages of the cleaning equipment. So it saves time in cleaning and it is very efficient since it the equipments are already automatic. And then if there are areas nga kanang dili bitaw maabot sa manual nga labor, so maabot na siya through the equipment nga gigamit. And also, these equipments are eco-friendly and user-friendly. Okay, so let us now classify the cleaning agent used in the housekeeping department. So these are the manual cleaning equipment. So first, chamber-made trolley or the housekeeping trolley. So basically, as you can see in the picture, this is a trolley that the linens and supplies in the guest rooms are being stacked okay so there is a section for the linens a section for the supplies okay carried together to make to make up the room or even uh cleaning the room okay second is the janitor's trolley so this is very a highly mobile trolley um, there is also a shelves and a waste receptacles. Okay, so there is also a section in which supplies are being placed and other tools to be used in cleaning. The third one is the mop or the mop wringer. So here, this is used to squeeze out the water from the mop without getting the hands that dirty. So instead of manually squeezing the mop, the housekeeper will now use this one to squeeze the water out from the map. Okay, so it saves time, it saves energy, and also dili na sad mahugaw ang mga housekeeper. The fourth one is the carpet sweeper. Okay, so carpet sweeper is used to pick up dirt in the carpeted floor. So basically, um, carpet sweeper will just use to pick up dirt, okay? Uh, mga dirt from the kanang carpet. Okay. Um, these are the electrical uh, cleaning equipment used in the housekeeping department. So first is the vacuum cleaner. So it comes with a motor, a suction motor fit in a case and a hose and a various attachment for different cleaning requirements. And also, vacuum cleaner, na na siya different sizes sa iyahang hose or sa iyahang suction area in which mo fit siya bisan asa even those kanang mga small areas. Okay, so makuha gihapon ang mga dust did to inside and also very useful ni siya since it can do both a wet or dry vacuum cleaner. The second one is the polishing machine. So basically, it is used to polish floors, especially ng mga wooden floors, and it would add shine to the floors. Third one is the scrubber. So this is the equipment used to conduct map mapping if dili siya makaya sa kanang basic lang pag map. So uh, this is a this is used to remove kana mga sticky stains from the floors. 
Part one is the dry foam machine. So it is a machine with pressure tank filled with water solution and shampoo to clean water sensitive carpet. Okay, this, so this is used for uh, cleaning carpets and also used to remove kung na ay mga stains sa carpet. So these are the cleaning agents in used in the housekeeping department. So this is very common. It is the water. So basically, bisan even sa atong balay or even bisan at asa water is very important. Magigana siya pinaka first or pinaka basic ng gamiton. So same in the housekeeping department, ang water po ang pinaka common ng cleaning agent. Second is the vinegar. Okay, so it helps in removing light stains in guest room. So, um, mostly, or tanan na siguro nga hotel, dili na kayo sila mugamit aning uh, cleaning agent since uh, lain magud siya. So, madiscourage tungod sa iyahang foul nga odor. Third is the all-purpose cleaner. So, these are the cleaners that is used to remove all kinds of dirt. So, these are the example of all-purpose cleaners. The fourth one is the glass cleaner. So, this is used to clean glasses. Okay? Uh, even ang kanang mga sa mirror, mali siya gamitin since mo-add mo siya og shine sa mga glasses. The next one is the bathroom cleaner. So these are the example of the bathroom cleaners. Okay. So it would add, it would help cleaning the bathroom. Can ang mga sink, ma remove ang mga dirty sa sink, ang mga, uh, ang mga floorings or ang mga tiles. Okay. So these are the cleaning agents to be used. Disinfectant. So, disinfectant helps killing or destroying the disease carrying microorganism. Micro okay, so those are the cleaning agents used in the housekeeping department. Okay, so wala na lang siya nakagiusa usa since it is already been discussed in our uh, lecture class. Okay, so ako na lang siya ng group based on their um, general name. Okay, so let us now proceed to the general rules in in the use of cleaning equipment. So it is very important to check electrical appliances and equipment before used, okay? Kay, what if uh, na ay mga wires nga na cut and then imong gigamit and then imuhang na touch. So it is very important get to check those appliances or those equipments from time to time. And it should be handled with care. Okay, make sure it does not bump on hard surfaces. Okay, through handling with care, you will also clean and store the equipment in their custodial room immediately after use. Okay, very important ka ayun na siya. And then another rule is to empty dust bag or dry vacuum cleaners before they overload and after each use dili kay after ni mo gamiton it is store lang sa siya ni mo dayon you have also to empty the vacuum cleaner since hugaw man na siya di ba so if dili kay dili siya ni mo alipyuhan uh, dayon so ma remain ang hugaw dito mm -hmm. so it will cause damage to the equipment okay. Another one is follows manufacturer operating procedures. Okay, so it is very important to follow the uh, operating procedure manual since the precautions and the process and then the steps on how to operate a certain equipment is being stated in the safety manual. Okay, okay. Ah, mag magpataka lang ka o gamit, and then delete siya safe, delete siya ang proper usage, Anna. So, the, there would be a possibility nga ma-danger ka, or there would be a possibility nga maguba na yun ang osaka equipment. And also, very important said, ang pag-schedule sa regular check-ups equipment to prevent serious breakdown. Okay? And then, do not expose equipment to rain or water to avoid electric shock or short circuit. Okay, so those are the general rules in the in the use of cleaning equipments. Okay, so if if the equipment is being properly used, if it is being properly 
stored and if it is being properly handled with care, of course, the equipment will last longer. And also, you will prevent yourself from harm and also uh, it would assure the guests or the people inside the hotel their safety. Okay, so let us proceed now to your laboratory exercise number seven, which is entertaining guest room. So entertaining guest room involves room makeup. Okay, room makeup, um, room inspection. Okay, mauna siya. And the uh, classic classing of code so that a housekeeper will identify if that certain room, if that certain guest uh, would request a room makeup. Good, okay. So these are the code or the room status code being used in the housekeeping department. If it is OCC, it means the room is occupied. If it is VR, it means that the room is vacant, ready, and it is vacant for sale or ready for sale. If it is VD, it means that the room is vacant yet dili pa siya fully cleaned, so dirty pa siya. So there are things pa or nga kailangan i, i double check uh, na pa yung mga i, or naapagay ka ng mga amenities nga kuwang mana siya ibot ipasabot deha and if it is o o o it means it is out of order so it means that naapa na siya possible na renovations uh, possible nga i repair okay if it is b l o it means black so one of the reason if that the room is being black is it is reserved and an early check in is that an early check in would happen okay so if it is ns it means no show a room is being reserved but the guest doesn't arrive okay if so it means sleep out so the guest doesn't sleep in the room it sleeps maybe outside with her friends or family Okay, the next one, so these are the terminologies used to describe various types of guests. If it is VIP, so it means very important person. If it is VVIP, it is very, very important person. Example are those mga presidents or mga business, um, business company or, I'm sorry, business owners, mga sila. And also, in some hotel, they provide butler or concierge so this butler or concierge they are the personal um let's say alalay or the personal kanang marabitog sila gud mismo or gi hired sila personally to assist this vip or vvip and this butler or concierge highly knowledgeable na sila in every aspect and every Kana bitang as in knowledgeable gid sila sa tanang aspects kay sometimes manggod if the VIP or the VVIP is not available to attend na meeting pwede siya i-request sa guest nga ikaw le attend ana nga meeting okay so mao na siya so very important gid sila since na aman sila personal nga assistant okay if IT means free independent traveler or foreign individual tourist and lastly is the joiner. So joiner means um this are the person nga wala na ka reserve but may abot lang siya kalit since invited siya. Okay, like for example, um kana nga certain nga room is good for two yet na iniabot nila nga usa ka friend. So katong usa ka friend mo to gitawag nga joiner. And the possibility if mo stay siya or pakatulogon siya ana nga room. So the 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 guest or ang guest nga nagstay ano nga room would request a extra bed or a roll away bed okay methods and procedures of room cleaning so this would be your laboratory exercise number 8 okay so making up a bed okay so these are the supplies needed in making up a bed okay it is being presented in the screen the supplies the number of items or the number of supplies kailangan and then where are you going to place those things okay so these are the steps so steps 1 first you're going to lay down the bed on the bed pad on the bed so as you can see in the picture bed pad is has a garterized or it is a garterized to fit 
the bed pad to the bed. So, isuksuk na siya dito sa ilang so that it would fit. And also, bed pad is designed nga na siya yung mga daghan ng mga lines. Okay? Na siya daghan mga lines so that if na I stain, it would not directly go to the bed but musubay lang siya ang nga mga lines sa bed pad. So, bed pad is intended to protect the mattress from stain. So, muna siya nga yung ana ang design sa bed pad. Okay? So, step two, lay down the first bed sheet. So, the purpose for the first bed sheet is to intend the cover, to cover the bed pad. So, if it is tightly done, the sheet will not easily crumple. Okay? Next one is lay down the second bed pad. So, this is not only beautiful to look at, but also designed for the guest convenience. Part one is lay down the blanket. So this will make the bed appear neat and clean. And also in, in laying down the blanket, you have to fold fold a little bit in the upper part or kind of the head nga part, if fold na siya so that it would give space to the pillow. Okay, so based on the given example, we fold niya ang blanket so that maad dito ang pillow. Mabutang dito ang pillow. And then fifth, lay down the bed cover. So, to look presentable and to protect the linen from dirt. Okay? So, bed cover would also serve as the blanket na pod na siya sa guest. Okay? So, those are the steps in making up the bed. So, first, you're going to put the bed pad. And then after the bed pad, you're going to put the first bed sheet. After the first bed sheet, you're going to put the second bed sheet. And then after that, the blanket. And lastly is the bed cover. So those are the traditional way of making up a bed. Okay. So these are also the process or the steps in making up a bed for the checkout room. So first, you're going to check first if na by left ng mga items sa guest's room. And then if there is, kung na na left, then you're going to report it in the housekeeping and to the front office department so that if the guest would come back to look for his or her thing, so mabalik na po sa iyaha. Second, pull the curtains or blind. And then, adjust air condition to desired temperature. Fourth, remove soil dishes used during room service. Fifth, empty all ashtrays and waste basket. Sixth, wash and wipe dry drinking glasses. And seven, clean thermos jug then refill with cold water. If there is a thermos glass or jug, then you will refill it with cold water. <coughs> Eight, strip the bed of soil linen and pillowcase and replace them. Then you're going to make up the bed na, okay? So, muna to siya akong gi-discuss sa ganihang process in making up the bed. And then, you will do the vacuum or shampoo, the carpet, and holsters furniture. And then, that's all furniture. And then, the 12th, you're going to polish mirror and all other metal fixtures. And number 13, replenish all room supplies. And then make up the bathroom. So making up the bathroom, you will clean uh, the bathroom from top to the bottom. And then fix the curtain and check the overall condition of the room, including installed supplies and fix fixtures. So it is very important to check everything before going out the room so that uh, makita ni mo or ma-check ni mo if naapa ba kay na miss sa imuhang trabaho nga gihimo if ma-check po di mo dito if the appliances are working if the furnitures is wala ba siya guba okay and then after checking everything you're going to close down the door and report it to the front office uh, department if the report it to the front office department that the room is ready for sale na okay so another thing you have also to can in in conduct in inspecting a vacant room or a checkout room. You will do this thing. So you have your pen and paper ready. Activate the doorbell or knock gently in case basi na apa inhabilin nga tao sa room sa room, and then proceed with the chain lock. 
Okay? And then you can do the inspection clockwise or counterclockwise. Fifth, check the shoehorn inside the closet. Okay, so some of the hotels included or appeal na nila ang showhorn. So showhorn is used for di ka sa shoes, bito na sa likod ng part, if pang suksok mo na siya gamiton. Okay, and then number six, proceed the luggage wrap. Then check the condition of the TV set. Okay, kung working pa ba siya or delay. Or even i-check po kalini mo ang remote control if working pa na siya or delay. And then check the cleanliness of the writing table. Check the laundry paraphernalia, those kind of mga amenities or mga pakapin sa laundry area. Check the coffee table. Check the night table if used. Okay. The telephone, the radio, the alarm clock. Kailangan po na siya i-check. And then check the beds. I'll check the air condition if it is properly working. Check the bathroom if it is properly cleaned. And also the faucets if... Um, Naba siya water and also ang mga flash, mga shower if it is properly working. And then after that, you're going to release or declare the room vacant and ready for sale and make a status report. Okay, so those are the steps or those are the things you need to do if you're going to inspect a vacant room. So here is an example of a of making up a bed.
Okay, so uh, based on the video presented, the hotel uses a Dubai type of bedding. So uh, this is the new way of making up a bed nowadays. So this type of bedding is commonly filled with natural or synthetic fibers, typically down wool or a feather. So uh, the main difference between Dubai and a comforter or ang katushang sa traditional way katong bed cover is that comforter is just one piece of bedding while a dubey requires two separate pieces. Diba nakita ninyo nga um, na, ay, na ay usa ka linen or na ay ka ng murag pouch pouch na ito i-term gamiton is gi-insert dito ang dubey. So mo na siya ang dubey very mo na siya ang gigamit na karoon sa mga hotel since um, sayon man lang siya buhaton. Okay. And also, ang difference po the Dubai to the comforter is that comforter is ready to use na. Okay, once you buy it, it does not need a Dubai cover or cover or any kind. Okay, so you just have to put it on top of the, the bed. However, the Dubai cover is magkailangan pa siya o kanang protection or magkailangan pa siya o cover. Okay. Mauna siya. Now, let us proceed to your laboratory activity. Actually, this is very easy na lang since you already conduct this with your, sa inyohang lecture. So, you just have to search on sa ang mga cleaning agents sa gigamit sa housekeeping department during this pandemic. Okay? So, you have to categorize or classify the um, tools, equipments, and the supplies. Okay, so you can research as much as you can as long as you're going to state its purpose and its proper usage. Okay, so for your laboratory activity number seven and eight, so you just have to answer these following questions. So in making up a bed, what are the first supplies to be for Put first and so on. So you have also to provide the purpose for each supplies. Okay, so here, um, number one. So unsa may first nga ibutang ni mo sa bed? Unsa ikaduha, unsa ikatulo, unsa ikaopat, unsa ikalima. Unsa pud ang purpose ana? Okay, so for number two. So how are you going to inspect or check out room? So, mo na siya ang ikaduha. And then third, what is another way of making up a bed? So, aside from the traditional way. So, dili lang kay mo answer lang mo nga, okay, Dubai. Mo, ana, you have also to state if unsa ang process, ana niya. Okay? So, mo lang na siya inyong buhaton for your laboratory 6, 7, and 8. The deadline for this one is next week. Okay? According to your class schedule. So, it is already available in the Moodle, okay? So, submission is in the Moodle also, and I want you to submit it in a PDF file, okay? So, if you have any questions, so you can message me anytime. You can message me in my Messenger or in my Facebook account. So, that would be all. Thank you, and God bless everyone.